What up guys, this is Sean, High Roller 1969 I want to show you guys a little uh, video on how to take care of your chickens when it's winter time and it's really cold out. And um, I think that this is a thing that a lot of people don't know about. So I'm just going to kind of like throw little tips here and there. As you can see, I got my, my chicken coop behind me. And they have their little run. So this is their happy little environment. Um, I built this whole entire thing on a budget of a hundred dollars. Um, that's including the uh, fence posts or the the fencing and uh, everything. So I'll just stand back and show you guys what it looks like. It's uh, it's actually kind of attractive. Uh, it's not like one of those ugly little chicken coops that. You know, you may see a bunch of other people build that, you know, you just ask why. <laughs> so this whole thing here, the base of it is nothing but pallets that I bolted together. Oh, there's Princess. Oh, it looks like somebody laid an egg out here. Hi, Princess. That's Princess. So... Instead of going out buying 4x4s, four um, I used an, uh, an existing tree that was standing right back here. And there's a couple of reasons why I did this. Number one is because I do want my chicken to still come outside. Um, they don't really like the snow. They don't care about the cold, but they just really don't like the snow. So I wanted some place where they can have like a little bit of shelter. Um, and a little bit of um, safety, I guess, if needed. So that's why this is so high off the ground. They can go underneath there. Um, they can play. Oh, here they all come because they know I'm outside. They're very social. <laughs> um, so, anyways, let's just get into the video. Show you guys what's up. First of all, it is winter time. So, I highly, highly recommend... Uh, a light bulb. There you go. Sorry about that. I highly, highly recommend a heat light. My heat light is high. All right, you can see right over here. That's where my chickens sit at night. That that's where they perch. All right, they're far enough away from this thing. They never ever hit it, and I never ever had a problem. Um, as for them, like tapping it or moving it or breaking it ever. So take that myth and throw it away. Um, I have my heat light pointed right over top of my water bowl and that keeps my water uh, from freezing. Uh, also, another thing that you really, really want to do, put extra bedding down. Some people use straw, some people use hay, um, some people use cedar. I, I don't recommend cedar because it, it affects their respiratory system, but put extra, extra bedding down when it's really cold out. Right now it's like minus four degrees or something like that right now. And um, yeah, right now they're just very happy to, to be in here because it's soft, it's fluffy. They got their little heat lamp. Um, also because of wind, um, up here I just took a little bit of insulation, uh, only on the front side. And I just insulated the roof area. Uh, it looks like that piece over there is coming down. I better fix that. Um, so what I'll do is, is every year I'll take insulation, shove it up in there, and that just blocks the wind. That's all I want it for. Uh, the reason for the windows is, well, they're chickens, and chickens do need sunlight. They do require sunlight. They require like a little bit of a recharge. Uh, as for food, let's go and scope out the food. As for food, I have my food in a bucket, or a Rubbermaid garbage pail. Oh, Princess. She's funny. She always calls me. So, anyways. As for food here, I have three different types of things with a mix here. Um, let's see if we get a little autofocus action here. It's so hard to do this when you're one-handed. Okay, there we go. Perfect. What we have here is we have layer pellet. That's what the chicken food is. 
Uh, next I have whole corn. Sometimes you use cracked corn too, that's fine, but uh, whole corn and calcium. And the reason for the calcium is so that your, your eggs, uh, they, they have a harder, thicker shell. And it's good for the birds. And not only that, you gotta remember something. Uh, whatever you feed your chickens, if you eat the eggs, you're eating it. So don't feed your chickens crap, and don't feed them anything that you wouldn't eat. Um, like, you know, sometimes you may want to, you know, give them little tasty treats here and there. Um, or give them garbage, <laughs> you know. Uh, that's all fine and dandy, but just make sure that it's something edible that you yourself would eat. Um, if not, then you're going to have a, a problem with your health. So, uh, all the food that I give to my chickens, they're, it's healthy, it's, not, it's raised locally, it's made locally uh, by a farmer. Um, the corn, uh, stay away from, um, stay away from like a lot of store bought corn for chickens because they use um, uh, GMOs and all these other chemicals and crap, which have been found to, um, cause uh, flies to explode from the inside out. So uh, if it causes a fly to explode, uh, maybe they shouldn't be using it in our food. But the FDA approves of it, and nobody says anything about it, so therefore it's okay, it's safe. No, actually it's really not safe. It's really horrible crap. So anyways, uh, let's just go over the, the list again. Oh, they're fighting over something. <laughs> Let's just go over the uh, list again. Number one, more bedding. Need to have fluffy, softer bedding. It, it acts as their insulation. Uh, number two, make sure that your uh, food is good. Make sure that it's healthy for them. Uh, number three, a heat lamp. Number four, wind blockage. And, uh, Oh yeah, also, uh, most importantly, um, Jesus, oh, there they go, yeah, they got something, they got a piece of food, oh, it's a piece of bread, or something, <laughs> yeah, uh, mo most importantly, don't feed them anything that you wouldn't eat yourself, uh, don't forget, if you or your family, or if you sell eggs to, uh, members of your town, Remember that you are not just feeding your chickens uh, crap. You're feeding everybody else crap. So just keep that in mind. So anyways, flip my screen back. I am Sean. Hi, Roll 1969. I'm out. I hope that you liked this video. Please make sure to like and subscribe to my videos uh, if you like them. Um, it really helps out a lot. And uh, smack it a little thumbs up. Let's get some focus action. Focus. Oh, it's on manual. There we go. <laughs> Freaking cameras. Ah, so anyways, like I, like I was saying. Uh, oh yeah, Sean, high roll 1969. I'm out. Peace.